sorry. Hello and welcome. Sorry the noise is going to be bad or the sound's going to be bad tonight. Um, I'm using a different camera. I'm using an old Sony, um, a Sony Steady Shot from like I don't know when a DSC W310. So proof that you can shoot videos on anything. At least I hope. Uh, I already verified that it's recording. The sound sucks, which is nice because then I can listen to music in the background. And tonight's playlist is Live 105.3, although it's not the same Live 105 it used to be. But we will take what we can get right now, because everything else is like top two or top five, it seems like the same song. That said, I am using these paints with pouring medium and water. So I mixed them all and I put them, I did a hybrid mix between this, well this and this made that, um, and a little bit of white. I wanted to get kind of a cheery thing. I'm going to be pouring four panels at once. Four panels. Four panels. And I rigged up, I hacked up this nifty little contraption that I'm going to show you. And hopefully this video won't be too long, but I'd wager it would because I don't have a pause button on my camera that I'm aware of. So anyways, let's put this to the side and let me show you how I rigged this up. <coughs> it was pretty simple. First I took the four panels. Originally it was going to be five, but then I realized, hey, wouldn't it be neat to have a handle? So I took four panels, I taped them with masking tape, no big deal. I took an old piece of scrap wood, I used glue dots, um, I didn't have temporaries and I didn't trust that temporaries would last, so I put permanent glue dots, two to each panel, right about there, right there, along like that. So now, when I pour, I won't have to be doing all this jiggling. I can just use one hand if I want. Isn't that nifty shifty? So there's your um, hint for the day. Week, month, whatever. Yes, I will probably leave them on here to dry. Um, yes, that can cause problems. Ultimately, I may end up having to razor down the divisions when I separate them. Obviously, I would probably have to do that anyways because I've had this sitting here for a couple of days, so the masking tape may have Set. Although masking tape's not supposed to be so permanent, sometimes it does become permanent. Now, to remedy the wobbly wobbly that I may not want to have later, I'm going to. Well, actually, it won't be wobbly if I put on. This lid has these little bumps, so that makes it hard. What I like about this lid is check it out. My little drips just pop right off of it, so if I want to use uh, skins later, I can usually just take the skins right off of here and then apply them to fun things such as... Where did I put them? Damn it. Oh, there they are. So one of the... Some of the many fun things you can do with drips is you can put them on pendants, you can put them on swell bottles, you can do all kinds of fun things. So those are just drips. So check it out. I hope it's focusing. I have no idea and I apologize. So there you go. So let's get that puppy rolling. So this will probably be okay to just leave this to dry because we've got the stick plus that as distance. So since it's upside down, this time I'm going to go ahead and try not to be super messy, but I have a feeling it's just going to happen. Let me grab, <coughs> Let me grab my teapot. It's my cute little... I would probably show it to you, but I don't want it to spill. It has water in it. I'm going to use that for dampening my rag when I need it. Um, so I'm going to put white down. <coughs> and I'm going to, the reason I'm putting white down is because I want it to be able to flow because the gessoed canvas has a lot of tooth to it. So it'll stop flowing quick. Um, I have mixed this to a little, hopefully, a little more fluid consistency. What I have learned is that um, it really needs to be more watery than honey-ish. It's taken me this long to really get that down. It's kind of dorky, I know. So when you shake your bottles, it should sound a little watery. That one may not have enough water in it. We'll find out. Look at that, another paint booger already. See, this sounds much water, more watery, and I actually want it to uh, sound more watery. The reason is because 
I now know that I get bubbles sometimes because it's too thick. And the bubbles will stay and they can't escape to the th top because everything is just too thick. So, sounding better, huh? Still not as liquid? Well, no, I think that's good. Okay, so yes, I will be using white. I'll be using it at the top. Um, again, kind of want to keep this kind of squishy. Squishy's good. So it'll flow all the way down. And actually, I'm not too worried because even if it flows all the way down, that's going to be fine. I'm just hoping I can lay down a nice, nice beadwork. I'm not going to be doing a dirty pour, which is unusual for me. I usually always do dirty pours. I'm going to do an edge pour where I'm going to pile up a lot of the paint here and let it fall. Of course, now I'm having second thoughts, but I'm not going to go with my second thoughts. I'm going to try to be consistent and be in command of myself. Brendan Burchard, he had his HPX, whatever that was, and I did it. And one of the things is that you want to pick a word for the year. My, and actually, I picked three. Oops, I hear rustling in the hall. Yeah, see how bubbly that is? Hopefully this isn't too runny. Well, you know what? You live, you learn, you give it a go. That, you know, I shouldn't have not rocket science. I probably should not have um, shaken it. <laughs> I should have let it sit, but I don't have a pause key. Look, Swedish flag colors. These colors generally don't always go well. I've, if you ever look at Andrew Titchler, he does oils. And he's got this beautiful palette. He has this whole thing about mixing colors and color palettes. And dang, it really is dependent on the pigments within the colors itself. Because a blue is not a blue. It's, you know, phthalo blue or this blue or that blue. And that's done for different chemistry totally from, um, you know, this blue. Well, that's really squishy. Dang, me and the coffee. i got to stay away from the coffee. So trying to get to the actual action first. Why did I pick these colors? Well, originally the impression was I was going to green, yellow, and blue. Is that the way I wanted to do it? No, actually it's not. <laughs> That's okay. So let's give this a go and see what happens. And see the white's already starting to float up to the top, which I find interesting because white's supposed to sink. But we just won't go there, okay? And then I was thinking about putting those uh, glass things in it at the end. So, let's see how this goes. I think I will do some more stripage. It's not as even as I was hoping. My thumb's acting up and I had too much caffeine again. You know me and the caffeine, why do I not quit? Well. I did for four days, and then there was today. <coughs> so, funny color palette here. So at least I picked one and I'm sticking with it. So, maybe I'll go ahead and enhance that whole white thing we got going on there and see what happens. Okay, now this is probably more than enough paint, and it will probably go all the way to the bottom. Now, when you put paint up here, you realize this will become your paint cloud, which will be the main one because it's going to be stretched the most. Okay, let's see how this puppy goes. Well, don't overthink it, don't think it at all. Oh, I don't like it. That's okay, that's why we have more paint. So clearly the white is thicker than the other two. See how fast those are dripping off and the white isn't? So I perhaps did go too thin. That's something to learn. I feel like I'm kind of sloppily icing a cupcake. We'll just go for it, right? Nothing to lose at this point in the game. Yes, pouring medium was expensive, but we're not going there. <laughs> And it looks like we're probably going to have some mud issues, but that's okay as well. 
We may get some films, we may not. I'm not getting too hung about the whole thing. Now I'm really freestyling it, man. Freestyling it. Okay, so let's go back. Yeah, we got a lot of interesting stuff that's not pleasant. <laughs> oh my goodness, does it look like a hippie threw up on my... Okay, so the coverage isn't there the way I want it either. We're just going to go a little bat shit. Excuse me, bat poo. A little wild here. We're going to be a little wild child. I usually don't curse and I apologize. Because that's kind of like one of my things I'm trying to work on. Yeah, I've been working on it for two years. Don't go there. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dab down here. Worst case, I will paint over this. Best case, it'll be a pleasant surprise when the thing's all done, right? I should probably go all Rip Cheetle on it and just gush, gush, gush. He just pours pints and gallons of paint everywhere. Gosh, it does look like a 1974 hippie kind of threw up on the thing, doesn't it? Well, there's no doubt in my mind that it's super liquidy. So we got some dry spots there. Which aren't flowing, dude. Flow, dude, flow. But what's nice about having this handle is I really don't have to ha be handling the painting as much as I am. I can literally just go like this. And it's all four panels at once. And each panel looks different. Oh, there's another dead space. Hmm. Well, still not a fan, getting a lot of mud. Like I said, blue and yellow. You've got to get the right blue and you got to get the right yellow. I don't think that these were it. How can we give this some... Um, I don't know, do you find that interesting? I don't. I... no. That's okay. You live, you learn. What we can do... Man, everything's all wobbly. Damn. I used to look like an old person, man. Oh, wow, that's sliding in funny ways. Not at all the way I wanted it to slide. Okay, so I can tell you that I don't feel that this was a successful experiment. Whoops. Can't sing to my music. Well, maybe it looks like the Great Divide. Hey, it's the wall! No, sorry. Oh. Probably not a good time to do that. Hmm. Well, I think I'll just go a little crazy and just see what this does. I don't know if this would be a complementary, a triad, a tetrad, when it comes to the four colors I have going on here. Okay, I don't want to go the other way. I just want to keep going back and forth, I think. Come on. It's going to fall off and be interesting. I really like the handle idea, though. I highly recommend trying the handle thing. Hmm. See, I know that I sing poorly, so hopefully no one will figure out what that wonderful song is, right? Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can't see me. Let's get that little puppy off over there, huh? Let's get it all going. And you know, I think it's going to be one ugly skin. Yeah, well, you know. Each panel looks completely different and unrelated. So that could be bad, that could be good. But it's still flowing. So I put more than enough paint on. I'm not sure that I like going more watery. I went too watery this time. Go figure. So there you go. 
the real lesson today was all about the backside. Oh, hey, look at that mess. <laughs> and how to connect four panels so that you can handle it without having to have a complete and utter disaster going on. So there you go. Have a great day. Go make it your day. Go make it an awesome day. Um, let's see. I can blow it. Well, I'm not that messy. So... There are no, there's no silicone or a flow trough or other chemicals that would bring up any cells. It would have relied completely on pigments, but since I moved it, we're not going to have any of that. If I just let it uh, sit and stay and just do its thing, we may have gotten cells, but I'm not really thinking that would have been the case. So, there you go. Again, have a great day. Bye.